Beam Solo Mining, with great thanks to Fresh Miner of Sunpool.top for his assistance. To set up Solo Mining, we're going to install first the command line interface, the CLI wallet, shown here, and the Beam node onto a secure device separately from your mining rigs. It is not advised to install this directly onto your mining rigs. Please also note, whichever device you run the node from will have to have an ever active command line terminal and perpetual internet connection. Although I'm showing Windows here, you can also do the same processes on a Mac or on Linux. So let's go ahead. The first things we're going to need, Beam Wallet CLI, that's the command line interface. I'm going to put that into the downloads folder. <coughs> Excuse me. And the node, likewise, into my downloads folder. And those two archives are going to be extracted into one single folder. I'm going to call that Beam Solo Mining. <clears throat> so I'm going to extract the files from first the wallet CLI into Beam Solo Mining and the node into Beam Solo Mining. Okay, let's double check that those are in there. Four files beamnode.cfg, beamnode.exe beamwallet.cfg and beamwallet.exe We then have to make a subfolder in the same location as all these files. I'm going to call this subfolder Stratum Secrets. Into the Stratum Secrets folder, you're going to need two files from the page on the Beam Wiki Instructions for Command Line Node. You can find that by navigating or find the link in the comments section. Although it says this documentation is obsolete, what we want from this is found at the bottom of the page these two files test.crt and test.key now to get these into stratum secrets folder simply open up the first one and view it as a raw format you can then save the page as directly into the Stratum Secrets folder and rename it as stratum.crt that is a simple security certificate the same for the second file which is test.key Same method, view it as a raw and save the page as. Now this one you're going to have to change the file extension because it's as a text file off the GitHub. And you also want to change the name to Stratum. So you've got already got Stratum.crt, this one is Stratum.key save it alongside. The next step will be to choose a password for your wallet. So think of some kind of groovy password and open the beamwallet.cfg file which you've put into Beam Solo Mining. Beamwallet.cfg and if you scroll down to where it says 
password for the wallet. Simply change the password into something that you're going to remember and nobody's going to think of. You then also need to remove the hashtag, which is basically a comment line. That will activate that as a command. Also in this file, <coughs> you need to change the address of the node. So again, uncomment and enter these numbers 127.0.0.1 colon 10000. That is all you're going to do with that file. So making sure you've got your pass and your node address having removed the hashtags in front of each line. Simply save it and close it. Now open a command prompt, Windows CMD. Navigate to your Beam Solo Mine folder, which is in here, should be. So mining. And in this CMD terminal, run the command beam wallet init. That will initiate your beam wallet and provide you with a seed phrase and an address. I would advise to copy that text, put it into a notepad where you can then save it for future reference, stick it into documents and call it whatever you like to call it for future reference. That gives you your seed phrase. So you can restore your balance after you solo mine some beams and the address to which you will be mining. So close that. Then you need the keys to configure them in the miner. Running the following command beam wallet export minor key sub key equals one that will export your minor key take the key from the start of it copy it and put it into your beam node .cfg where you see standalone minor key. So you put it after key mine, paste it in and be sure to remove the comment symbol. So I can save that for now. Additionally you'll need to run the following command beam wallet export owner key and that will give you a long string you want to copy that and put that into owner viewer key key underscore owner equals paste that in and remove the hashtag again. So you also need in this file to edit the password for the keys. It should be at the bottom there. Pass equals and it's the same password as you previously entered in 
the third step on the other file. So we save that. Also whilst in this file you need to edit your port server which as it's downloaded is correct just uncomment that. Your log level should be not debug but verbose. Your file log level should be not debug but verbose. Your peer you want to add and use let's use EU node o one dot mainnet dot beam dot mw port eight one zero zero and uncomment that line. Your stratum port should be three 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 and uncomment that line and your stratum secrets path is stratum underscore secrets. Also make sure you uncomment that line. Excuse the parrot. So I can now close that file and your next step will be to open a new <coughs> excuse me command line prompt and this will be one which will be always open. So again, navigate into your Beam Solo Mining folder and start your node by typing Beam Node. That's Node, not Mode. So we'll start that up and you'll see how it should look. We want to allow access to that. Wait for my slow computer to catch up on us. There we go. Okay. Now what it's doing now is synchronizing the blockchain into your local node. Depending on the speed of your internet and the speed of your processor, this could take some time, so um, we shall return to this in a few minutes. So now open a second command line prompt, which again must be left open at all times, and navigate to your beam solo mining folder. In this, type beam wallet listen. This will ensure your wallet will listen to the node and update the blocks perpetually. The last command line is to bring up your wallet. Navigate again to the same folder and type beam wallet info. This will power up your wallet and let you see the balance each time you key in beam wallet info. So that's your node set up and if we're all ready we can attempt to do some solo mining. So now we're good to go to set up our solo mining. You can use any operating system and uh, your miner of choice if you are on NVIDIA cards you might use Gminer if you're on AMD cards you might use LOL Miner. I am currently using MMP OS, which is a fully built uh, operating system. Um, as you can see, the 
URL there where you can get MMPOS. I find it exceptionally good because you can set up both your NVIDIA and your AMD cards on the same rig. And uh, the tweaks and the updates are, are pretty good on that. So um, here's what to do. In your minor profile, which would basically be your command line, you need to find the IP address of the machine you've put your node onto. This one currently is my showbox, as you can see, 192.168.0.18, and that's a local IP address. With that, you also need to add your pool. So the pool, apologies, wrong one. We want that one. So this is the address, the wallet address that we generated in the CLI on the uh, Windows machine. Mining coin beam, there's your host name. Use SSL to connect to pull the port as 3333 and you can just click that to update. Alternatively, if you're using Gminer, it's the same process. You can use uh, the G minor command line or law minor, the law, in, law minor command line. Just set it to point at uh, your local node, the IP, uh, which you should be able to find in your router settings. And uh, that's about it. Good luck, solo mining.